Hello everyone, Creative Fun here, back again with another video, and we are in Kerbal Space Program. Now, SSTOs are by far my favorite type of space uh, plane in a Kerbal Space Program. If you don't know, SSTO stands for Single Stage to Orbit, which means it's a basically a plane that can go to orbit and then go back. And then we're going to take a look and try to build a uh, SSTO today, a simple one, just to get me started getting back into a uh, Kerbal Space Program. But I figure this might just as well be a guide for anyone trying to build their own SSTO. It's very tiny. I think we'll be able to fit a satellite in here if we take like the smallest, smallest Probodyne core. Oh, that will be very tricky. And let's just go with a very simple tiny payload for the satellite and add some fuel to that. Let's do the liquid fuel like this. Maybe we can go with these on the side. We could try it and actually go with two powerful jet engines and then hook on two smaller rocket engines and see if we this is enough for us to go to space. This would look pretty cool too actually. So while building an SSTO, the, the most important part is weight management, uh, having it very well balanced. And that's very difficult because usually you have used up most of your fuel when you go out in space. So uh, the weight has moved, shift quite significantly when you go back down into on, on the ground. So you have to be careful with that and see how much it, how well it flies both empty and with fuel. So we're going to test both of those before we start going. Anyway, uh, we need some wings on this and some tails and stuff like that. So let's do the simple one. Let's do a simple tail in the middle here. So it's always a balance getting it good. Let's um, activate this one and see how the aerodynamics looks like. That's pretty good. We want some canards in the front here to help maneuver the aircraft. It should be centered here, but it's not. I'm thinking it has something to do with these. It shouldn't affect the aircraft that much in my opinion. Let's uh, do like this. Let's just get our some of our, uh, let's see, our action set up. Usually I have jet engines on one. So we have toggle jet engines there, and I will have the rocket engines on two. And if I'm doing a Reaper engine, which has a switch mode from jet to rocket, I usually have it switched on the two and toggled on one. I might have to put some... I'm thinking I can put some uh, uh, monopropellant as well up here. Let's do some simple ones. These. Let's just put them like here. This looks fairly good, so let's save this. Let's call this. Uh, what, call, what should we call it? A nice name. Um, fiddling class. Class S S T O. There we go. And let's take her out for a quick spin just to see how she works. So this is just the first flight test to see if this actually flies at all. It's quite heavy though with extra fuel tanks, but like, yeah, let's see what we can do here. We're going to turn on the SAS and then turn on the jet engines. Power them up to max. Uh, let's just see if we can get this baby up in the air. I think we should definitely be able to get a takeoff fairly early actually. You can see the nose is already... Uh, maybe not the best first takeoff. Oh, no, not again. Oh, that's not good. Oh. One more try. Let's move these wheels a little bit back. So we're speeding up here and we're gonna see if we cannot get a good nice takeoff this time. Uh, pull back a little bit. Careful now. Oh, we're up. Ooh, but that's not good. Okay, it's obviously not. Yeah. And let's try this again. Oh my god, it just takes off. Okay, we definitely need to change this design a little. That's very off. Like that. Why aren't these moving? We're off in the air. So, so far, so good. The aircraft seems to maneuver fairly well with this. Anyway, we're climbing now at least. That sound, that looks good. 
we're doing good we're still accelerating and we're climbing pretty high so let's enable our rocket engines and let's try to put pull up a little bit okay. so we're getting pretty close here now i'm just going to boost up here and i think we we should definitely have enough to do get a circleized orbit here and we are circleized it's not the perfect orbit but i do think we have enough fuel to go back down there's still a little bit of things we need to fix about this aircraft, but uh, can make it to orbit. So let's go back to um, space plane hangar, and we're going to start to equip this for a little bit more realistic uh, mission. I just stick them inside here, like that. That's going to generate enough power for us to do whatever we need to do, and place them like that, and do the same with. This one here. We're gonna put a little bit of heat plating and uh, more often than not the biggest issue is the cockpit that gets really hot especially on descent. So we are gonna place a little bit of extra heat absorption here or heat radiators here to get some of that heat off. So if I've been a genius now I would have um, not done that right now. I'm gonna build a our little uh, satellite there first. So what do we want in the satellite? Well, a simple communication satellite will suffice for now. I don't think we can expect much more of something like this, but just being able to put up a satellite in orbit, that's an achievement in itself. Like that. I wonder if that will fit. If that fits, that will be great. Otherwise we have to kind of go for maybe something much smaller. Oh, that's no problem. That's going to be perfect. So we got a nice little satellite here. We got battery, we got the energy, we got the relay antenna. So we can absolutely put this into space without any problem and have it being useful. Okay, so we're nearly done with our SSTO now. We have, um, let's see here, Oof. close, perfect. So we have a very simple SSTO with a satellite we can launch if we want to. I'm sure someone in the comments will, will mention that the Reaper engines would have been far better, blah, 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 blah. But still, I like this. Uh, there's a couple more things I want to do. I definitely want to put some air brakes on this aircraft uh, or space plane because uh, air brakes are fun. Thing it there, that's enough so we can brake while going down for landing. And I think this is all we need for a space plane. So we're going to take this up into space, deploy the satellite and go back down and hopefully no one will die. And if I die, well, that's that's how it's gonna end. I haven't practiced on this so much. So let's go, let's save this. And uh, this is the fiddling class, SSTO. First official mission, uh, untested. Let's see how much uh, airspeed we need, 100, oh, 120. We need quite a lot of airspeed to take off, but we're up. So we're reaching about 20,000 meters here and that means that the thruster is going down and we're soon going to activate our uh, rocket engines. We are de-accelerating a little bit but that is okay. Once we reach around 1,200 meters I'm going to turn on the rocket engines. I'm going to hope that's enough to push us up into space. So boom, they are on and as you can see we're accelerating very nicely there. And we still have some thrust to this so I'm going to wait until they just, yeah, they just shut down there and then I'm going to turn them off. So let's go full burner and uh, we are circulizing and we're going to be done in a couple of seconds here. I'm going to docking mode and do like this and then let's extend the solar panels. So we have, we can move this one around, of course, point it wherever we want, but we have a relay satellite in orbit. So now it's time to see if this can do the last part of the mission, returning. So I'm going to tell the autopilot to turn uh, retrograde. And as we do that, we're going to check out where we are and where we want to go down. I'm going to drop it down around here. 
So things are starting to burn now and we just hope that the aircraft is stable enough to handle the descent. This is always the tricky part because if the aircraft is not stable enough, we are shit out of luck. It's just going to tumble around and explode. Yeah, they're overheating very quickly here. But we do need it to slow down quite a lot. So let's see if these air brakes can take it. So we're definitely going down to the safe speeds now. There's no risk of overheating and uh, we just want avoid the aircraft losing control in these speeds though. Ooh. Ooh. Can you go down safely? Oh, bomb, bounce, bounce. Oh, don't go out, don't go out. Come on, come on, come on, you can do this. Oh, it's, it's brakes, 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 brakes. Oh, no, 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 oh. Gliding a little bit. Oh, very much gliding. Oh, demo, but that's, 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 that's okay, that's okay. That is okay. We're still good, we're still good. Next step will definitely be doing something uh, a little bit more advanced, maybe a high orbit SSTO or an SSTO that can go to moon. So we're going to look at that uh, probably next time I do a KSP video, which might be in another year, who knows. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like. Uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you're not following me on Twitter, go to at Real Creative Fun on uh, Twitter and follow me on Twitter as well. And that's, I think that was all. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.